this part goes in here and we have to use the sort of eating clamp that connects in this here down here so this has to connect and we have to grab it with a plier and to put it in a position so it would lock the tube in its place so the water pressure won't pull it out Okay, so we got that connected, sort of good to go, and then we need to put this back down there. The sort of two ring clamps that they go down here on the other part of it which connects this two tubes here this tube here and the other one to these two right here so let's do that so we're gonna put the clamp here first once you got that done, then we push this down. To sort of fit the hoses to the other part so it connects. And we put the clamp over it as well. Like there, see it? Just we're gonna put the clamp here. It's kind of awkward position. I hope I can show you. Okay, get the plier to lock it into the position. So it's gonna clamp in there or not. It's gonna be a bummer. for this to hold it it's hard to grab it keeps on popping out Well, let's do this. Let's put this in there already inside the plastic tubing to be easier to connect that part to it. Alright, we got that. Push 
this up and then we're going to push this down it'll be a lot easier approach to do that yep push this down and then carry the clamp over it there we go okay that's one is done just two of them That's one. Okay, that's one clamp. And what we have to do, we have to open this part as well. Put the clamp over the plastic tubing and then insert the tube and then push it down because the other way it doesn't work. Okay, now we got this. Push it down here, push the plastic tubing down here. Okay, get a plier and bring the clamp down here. Okay, got that. Insert it in there. Now we have to connect this part here. Okay, these two parts are gone. Now we need to goes over the spacer that goes on the bottom here so the spacer this one goes on this this is spacer goes right down here and then we have to once we get that down We need to put one more spacer underneath here, which we already had to. We did it, but we have to redo it because we forgot to put the clamp there. Okay. And then this goes right here. We need a screw here. Take the biggest screw here that has. Okay, this is one of them. Another spacer goes underneath here. Underneath here is another spacer that I put. I don't have to put the screw here. Wait. It helps if you have magnetic screwdriver, which I didn't have magnetic screwdriver, but what I did, I magnetized it. It's easy to do. It's a bigger magnet. Okay, so we have to tight this one. This one is tight in this place, as you can see. And then we have to get tight the other one, which we hold it to the magnetic screwdriver and it's way down there you do the reverse order then you can then you can sort of uh, 
uh, in the reverse order you'll be able to take it apart I wasn't able to video that part for you guys but I apologize look like in the process that we did that this wire came off so we gotta put it back in there one of the switch wires That wire is in. It has three wires. The top one is black, the middle one is red, the bottom one is white, and you got clamp on it. They fit two into one to another, but you have to make sure it fits tight and snug. And what I did, I installed, as you saw, two wire tie here. I put two wire ties here so uh, this piece would hold up. So the wire ties, uh, the wires would be safe here I was worried about that part where the wire might hit the okay now the wires as you see the wire here the white wire and the red wire connected here with a wire tie connected to the body so it won't hit this part which gets super hot I know the wire I insulated and they're supposed to hold the temperature just for safety and precautions you got to do that now we got we installed the top to the bottom now what we have to do here we have to install the rest of the screws to the unit so this is something pretty funny. By the way, I use these magnet, the neodymium magnet, they're very strong earth magnets, so you need to use it. You can hold the screws together and it magnetizes the screw and the screwdriver. So it'd be easier to just attach the screw to the screwdriver and go down because you need a longer screwdriver and it would be hard to manage. So it holds the screw like this would be the best way to do it for using this process here. So what we have here, we have more screws inside the unit to put, so to tie both parts together. So there's one goes right here, which we're connecting right now. Okay, one is on. We put the second screw in here. By the way, these are all Phillips screws, but on the upper, on the other part, we have different type of screws which I will show you, and they're not Phillips on the top cover. They're like a Y-shaped screw screws. Uh, you can use a regular standard a small screwdriver make sure it'll fit you don't need to go purchase the Y screws I don't know why they use that type of screw so it would be hard to open it but you can open it with regular standard screwdriver there's probably about four screws in here that I have to put inside the unit Okay, let's see this. Okay. 
Okay, we got the second one. In there. So, these are all Phillips. Make sure you don't put the Y screw. This is the Y screw that goes on a top cover. And you can use a standard screwdriver to open it, which I use this one. And uh, it did fit it. You see that? And he turns it. This doesn't need to be super tight. It's okay the way it is. Okay, let's get the other one in. This is another Y. This one is Phillips, which goes in here. You need a long screwdriver with a magnetic axe because you have no way to tight this unless you use a long magnetic screwdriver to reach the bottom. Other than that, the screw keeps on falling off and it's going to take you just hours just to put four screws in there. Something that will, should take you like about 10 minutes. Okay, we got one more here, which is Phillips. I should take care of all of them right there. Let me fix this here. Sorry about that. It fell off. Okay. Let's put one more down there, I think. It's right here. This is super, super difficult to do it. Let me get some light here for that. Okay, 